everyone knows that water is fundam fundamental to life, um, it's like the bare essentials and um, water is also being used by all different sectors uh, and it's being managed by all different sectors which may result in fragmentation and that's why it's extra important to bring it all together uh, to look at water, the entire water cycle as one and with the sustainable development goals that's actually what countries have been doing. We need an enabling environment, we need finance, we need technology, we need partnership and we need um, good institutions, means of implementation. And then monitoring, we need to check that we're actually implementing. Uh, and we also monitor, with monitoring we can also learn about best practices and, and um, make good management decisions. We're here together with all the proof of concept countries. Besides the Netherlands, it's uh, Senegal, Uganda, Jordan uh, and Peru. And with the UN uh, water agencies like FAO, uh, uh, UNECE, uh, we're discussing uh, the indicators for the sustainable development goals and the methodologies that are used to see if it's applicable to countries, if we can work with it, if we're getting also data from it yeah, that we can work with, and uh, if we have feedback, uh, what is going well, what could we improve? We've had to have a relatively small set of indicators and they have to be defined in a way that is, is, is applicable and feasible for as many countries as possible. So there's a, there's a trade-off between kind of local resolution and, and global roll-up. And that's something, there's no easy answer to it. It's, it's as much of an opportunity, though, as a, as a challenge. It's countries themselves who came up with all these sustainable development goals and the targets and also the indicators. It's not about Big Brother UN wanting this data. Really, the UN is helping countries to monitor their own sustainability. So the experience of the Netherlands um, because we are a water-rich uh, country uh, also in the past but also today and in the future we have a lot of challenges with water so uh, we do a lot of thinking uh, about it and uh, having our Delta program um, and we um, also made mistakes, a lot of mistakes uh, in the past and um, yeah we would like to share uh, things we learned um, with other countries. Even though it's only six countries that are represented here, there's already a community of practice that's emerging. We have ar around 12 indicators that since years we are uh, monitoring the, uh, these indicators, so it will be lesson learned for others what we did. And maybe we will find in Netherlands some indicators they have approach how they collect it or how they calculated or in Senegal or in the pilot countries. It's a lesson learned should be not repeated from zero if there is any country did it before so we will only build on it. It really falls right at the, at the center of the nexus between economy, society and environment. Water cuts across all the various strategies, even when we're having lunch. We're discussing and say, how are we going to coordinate all of this? Right now we are looking at SDG 6, the mainstream water. But you go to SDG for agriculture, for energy, climate change, environment, water is there. A number of disciplines and in the case of countries, ministries, that didn't necessarily interact, do interact, so that when we're working with a, a particular country, we're, we're talking to people who are coming from agriculture, from health, from you know, water infrastructure, from environment, from industry. And that is, is quite challenging, but that also shows how the strength of the, the integrated nature of this, of this goal. When the UN Secretary General launched the SEGs, he said that this is the biggest thing since the formation of the, of the UN itself. The learning process will end at the end of this year, which will result uh, in the feedback being taken on board and the final revision of these methodologies. And then next year is going to be all about rolling this out in as many countries around the world uh, as possible to get a global baseline set for 2017, which then can be used in 2018 in a number of, of, of global processes. It's not business as usual.